This is the historical archives, which is now on the sixth floor of the main library. I am Pat Turpening, telling you what's here. Starting at the door. All right, we have a desk here that, with a computer that now has Pass Perfect on it. There's the large map case. The box on top has CDs, um, various photos, a couple of large items here. These cabinets, all these filing cabinets here have photos in them. The ones on the left say um, photographs, uh, they're A to Z, and the, the first three. And then after that, they say photograph collections, the next two. And then we have the Hollywood Sun Tatler and photographs of people in the next three cabinets. The next one is not marked. The last one has material pertaining to the Historical Commission itself and collections A to D, A to Z through the bottom drawer and digitization. These are some of the items on the top. Records, state and county motor vehicle tax receipts 1929 North Broward photos. Uh, there's binders say Pioneer Days. Each one is one or two years pertaining to the Pioneer Days. Okay, these volumes all say Cri Sheriff's Criminal Docket. The ones in the case these two cases. The ones on top, some say Sheriff's Criminal Docket and some say something else. Mortgage Record, Palm Beach County and Jail Register and Tax Docket. The next bookcase is Engineer Field Books, these smaller books. And the next one is City Directories of Fort Lauderdale. They're all Fort Lauderdale. Inside this first cabinet, there are four, four lateral files here. The first one has something to do with a Boy Scout badge and a sash or a scarf and badge whistle. The second drawer has a uniform, some sort of uniform in it. The third one has um, minutes from the Historical Commission and the uh, box below that has is full of micro cassettes apparently from their uh, their meetings these are um, files on um, title abstracts of title this bottom drawer is um, a Spanish language newspaper And these four drawers are all miscellaneous files. I'm not sure what it is. This one, um, this is labeled number nine. I believe these all have to do with the sheriff, sheriff's office. And the last one contains restaurant menus. All four of those drawers are full of restaurant menus. And 
on top there are a few maps maps and pictures here two of these boxes are empty one has various material that has to do with the Seminole tribe and also um, minutes of a shuffleboard uh, club in Oakland Park uh, one box is full of audio cassettes possibly um, they have something to do with oral history so we have another whole filing cabinet on oral histories uh, the big box here the brown one has supplies in it and I believe all of these boxes down here contain archaeological finds all the material even the ones on the top as far as I can determine so that's the the first side of the archive okay this area is just opposite the ones I was describing earlier um, these boxes right here all say probate files uh, some of the ones up on top say Port Everglades I have not looked in them the other ones are so high I cannot even read what it says which is in pencil these scrapbooks are all Port Everglades these these are various things hunting license record um, this has to do with the Women's Club minutes 1940 um, I think several of these pertain to the Women's Club so we have um, it says record employees so, uh, school board records here right here school board records um, all of these boxes here, these archival boxes, are some various miscellaneous records. I don't know what they are. I haven't looked at them. They are numbered. There are a few framed items at the bottom here. There are a lot of things along the top. They're too heavy and bulky to pull down, for me to pull down. They need to be brought down so we can see them. Okay, continuing now, at the end of that row, we have this big cardboard box with a lot of framed items in it, oversized, uh, some separated by cardboard and then more of these uh, labeled archival boxes with a variety of things in them these here say women's history coalition most of them are not marked except for the numbers there are some more of the uh, boxes on top one says motor vehicle tax receipts Broward County financial statements from the 30s um, but basically they're in pencil so from here it's hard to read them then moving down here uh, have some framed items at the bottom one box says audio tape reel-to-reel -reel, empty media cans there are more probate file boxes and these um, several of these have our employee records of the Florida East Coast Railway and then we have some more minutes of the Fort Lauderdale Women's Club and at the bottom a report of tax collector moving along a probate progress report it says school funds 1928 and then all of these in this section are scrapbooks of Port Everglades 
from the 60s up to uh, the 90s it looks like. This section uh, contains all bound aerial maps of the county. Up here it looks like medical licenses 1928 to 49. There's some more Port Everglades scrapbooks. So that's pretty much it for this section. Continuing on, these are uh, these boxes are all Pioneer Days programs. And then this is the back of the room. All of these boxes appear to be labeled and uh, quite a variety of things. Some have photographs, there are slides, um, costumes or something. Um, I haven't done any searches but it's all source of material. Then the other side of this pillar You say comp plans. I don't know what that is. Christmas decorations down here in these boxes. And we have all these typewriters and various adding machines. And then a couple of safes. Some rolled things over in the corner. And I'm going to stop there and pick this up later. Okay, I'm taking over here down the middle aisle. This is where all these large framed items are. They're um, shelved vertically. Then there's some down here that are flat. And uh, certificates or photos or something. And then I'm here, I think these are all um, political uh, signs. A lot of political signs. Some more framed items. And we have the jail register, I think it is, on these carts. As well as on the top, all these jail registers. So we need to find a place for all those. And on top, some very large items which need to be covered and away from this constant light. This is the area where the Legacy magazine was, so this is all available and open. And then going down here, these are boxes with the archaeological finds, and you can see I pushed a lot of them back because uh, they should be double shelves. There's room for two shelves, or two boxes per shelf, but they had not been double shelved. So there's plenty of extra space there. We can put some of the other archeological find boxes there. And I think the material on the top also has to do with the archeology, span as far as I can tell. Then going up to the front of the room, there's a large trunk here and then a little smaller one on top of that with a couple of boxes and one on top there has um, uh, the Gates hats in it. The other ones are numbered but I don't know what's in those. And then we have a stand here with some sort of machine or something that's a display. These first three cabinets have microfilm in them. The next one has um, the oral history material and the next two are microfilms. And all these boxes have costumes or uniforms. Um, various types of things in those boxes. This, these cases have um, aerial maps, 
This one has large photos. That has large photos. All right, this one from here to the end, these are all the large maps. And then there are various things on the top. You see these ones up here are very heavy and they're on top of something that can't support it. So these really need to be moved. Okay, more boxes. Okay, and then coming over here, these are the, the ones I skipped earlier. These all have clippings from the Sun Tattler, and there are a couple of drawers that have some microfilm in them. Okay, the first 13 um, filing cabinets here are labeled alphabetically with different topics that have to do with uh, things in the county. I have a variety of things on the top that have to do with exhibits or something. That big box has some uh, um, supplies in it. The number 11 here uh, has um, supplies. 12 and 13 are biographical folders. This is a safe, I think. Uh, this 14 is empty except for two drawers, which have more biographical material. 15 is only Pioneer Days. 16 is black history. S uh, 17 has various things in those different drawers. 18 all has to do with serials um, that have something to do with archives. 19 is voter registration cards. 20 is, is four of the five drawers say manuscripts. This one says old administration and legacy. 22 is Pioneer Days. 23 is Minutes of the Historical Commission. 24 is Portraits. And 25 has a couple of collections, but they're not in any order. And then you have all these different boxes on top of the filing cabinets. This one here is Slides. And This, that big one there is supplies. So I think I've covered everything.